I'm using the Argan Oil Cream of Nature Cream Moisturizer here. I'm actually placing it in the roots and I'm placing it in the roots because my hair is a bit dry although I washed it about 10 minutes, 10 hours ago. I didn't blow dry my hair, I let it air dry so it's a bit moist on the ends. Now this moisturizer is very thick and it smells really nice. I am putting it in the roots there and I'm working it in as best as I can. Sometimes you just have to let it disappear, the whiteness disappear on its own, especially when you don't have the time to work it in. My hair looks relatively short here, and that's because I cut my hair into a bop. <laughs> and I'm loving the new cut because it looks more neat, it's easier to style, and it just gives me a more professional look with the bop. Especially because I don't like wearing pinups. I like to let my hair out. As you can see, I'm still working it into the roots. You can use another product, something that you feel comfortable with. But this is what I have at the time, so I'm just going to let it work. Now I am just going to work it into the back of my hair there. That's where I cut off my locks. I had like three strands at the back there, but because of build up, I just decided to get rid of them. Now, my bald spot is there from the fungus that I caught from my son. I'm going to put a link below there about the fungus that I caught from my son and how I'm going about treating that fungus in the comment section below. Now it's time to tighten my hair and I'm using petroleum jelly. This is pure lead. You can find it here in Jamaica on the island. If you live somewhere else, you can just use any form of petroleum jelly or anything that suits you for the roots. What I'm doing now is tightening my roots by interlocking. I have a tutorial on how to tighten locks and I will also place that link in the comment section below so that you can see how you can tighten your own locks or the own roots of your locks by interlocking. Now, there is where you can see my big bald spot from the fungus I caught. Someone asked me if it's growing or if it's going to grow back. It's actually growing back, but I don't know. It's just going really slow. I can't re wait for it to grow back because my hair just doesn't look the same without that missing lock around the front there. So all I'm doing is looping my lock through the roots with the hairpin. As I said, I have a tutorial on how to tighten your locks by interlocking your hair with a hairpin. I have the video, the link for that video below so you can check that out for yourself. This is just for 15 minutes of your time in the morning or if you're going out and you just want to neaten up your locks a bit. So I'm just doing the first row to the front of my head. You can probably do two or three rows. It's up to you. I like doing this especially because I'm not really, you know, the type to make a big fuss over my hair and having to groom it too often but I like to keep the edges neat. I also wash my hair very often, very often like maybe two or three times a week so interlocking really suits my style for locking my hair and uh, when I wash my hair, my edges always go crazy. So the method that I'm using now, this grooming your hair under 15 minutes, it works, really works for me. As I said, you can find the tutorial for interlocking your locks in the link down below if you want to know how to do that because I'm really going fast here so if you are not catching what I'm doing 
here you can catch it in the next video down below but all I am doing is pushing the closed end of the hairpin through the root then taking the loose end of the lock bringing it through that close end and then pulling it through the root and you do that in different directions because you don't want to have holes in your locks or you don't want to have what I would call swirls in your locks so instead of attaching them together you are dividing that one lock into two strands so you don't want to have that happen either so it's good to go in different directions when looping your hair through my hair misbehaves a whole lot so it really looks messy when I after I wash it so this method always seems to work for me and surprisingly all you need is a basic hairpin I've always heard about the latching tool I've never used that I've heard about persons using a crochet needle I've never used that I've even heard of people using needles they get these big embroidery needles with the big eyes and they push the edge of their lock through the eye and then bring it through and through so I've never used any of those methods because I'm very comfortable with using my hairpin to tighten my locks for the rest of the video you will need about four to eight hair clips or pins for the pin up it's not really a pin up I'm just sleek I just sleek my hair back actually that's all that I did but I'm almost done here thankfully it's actually in the wee hours of the morning if you can check in the background there in my drapes or my curtains you can see that the Sun is out but I actually closed the curtains because the Sun was interfering with the video too much light was coming into the video so you wouldn't really get to see what's happening here very well I'm almost done I have about three or two more to go and after I'm done with this I'm going to grab some more moisturizer just to moisturize the ends of my locks so that they can be tame for styling and I'm on the last one Again, if you want to know how to lock your hair, you can just check for the tutorial video, the link, I placed it down below. Now I grabbed some more argan oil here. And I just rub it up in the palm of my hands and distributed it onto the ends of my locks just to moisturize it a bit now if you don't have time to work this in it will disappear after a while and as you can see I have the ball spot there from the fungus that I caught from my son I can't wait for my hair to grow back but enough of that so I'm just using my fingertips to pull my hair back and to organize the locks where they will be able to look neat and I'm going to use my hair pins now to take the sides of my hair and then secure them to the back just for something laid back and sleek and I'm gonna grab the front there and then secure it with the hair pin so that's one side and now we're going to apply that same method to the other side of my head there's my bald spot again can't wait for my hair to grow back I know I've been saying this so much but I really miss not having a bald spot so I'm going to secure the other side of my hair the other end of my hair and any loose ends that you may have you can take a hair pin and secure those ends there
Now for the back, the middle there, you can take some hairpins and you can secure them in case of having to move around too much. You don't want those to fall out of place. So I put about two or three there. And now you can see why I cut my locks to get the bop. It looks neater. My hair can lie down flatter. That's it.